Hello, I'm Sean, I'm a lung and sleep physician, and today I'll show you how to use an Ellipta inhaler device. So if you've been prescribed an Ellipta device by your physician, most likely you've been prescribed Trelogy, over here, Brio, Incruz, or Anoro. So these four medications come in this Ellipta device. So when you get dispensed the device by your pharmacist, it will come in a box such as this. So you open the box, and in it you will see a waterproof packaging. So there is a flap at the corner, and you peel it off like you would a tub of yogurt. And this is the Ellipta device in the packaging. So it comes with a lid that flips open and a dose counter at the front. So it starts off with 30 doses when you first get dispensed your device. So when you're ready to use the Ellipta device, you flip open the lid, like so, and you will see a mouthpiece with a, with a nozzle. So it's a dry powder inhaler, so it's important not to blow into the nozzle as it might disrupt the powder. So when you're ready to use the device, you flip open the lid and the dose counter will reduce by one. And that's how you know the dose has been loaded. There's also a click when the lid is fully open. So you, you exhale away from the device Put your lips around the nozzle and form a tight seal. Take a deep and steady breath in and hold your breath for five seconds. You then exhale and you flip the lid back on. So now I'll demonstrate how to use the device when you're ready to use it. So you flip the lid open, you hear a click, the dose goes down by one. So there is a vent at the front of the device at the top here, so that should be pointing upwards. And don't, don't occlude the vent with your fingers. So hold it on its side so that the vent is open to the air. So put your lips, so first exhale. Put your lips around the nozzle. And you flip the lid back on. And you are done. So I always recommend to patients that they rinse their mouth and gargle after using their dry powder inhalers to avoid any throat irritation. I hope that's been helpful for you and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us or your friendly local GP or pharmacist. Thank you.